Hello there, it's Judy Leggett uh, from Judy Leggett Art. Thank you for joining me today. Right, so I'm just going to show you um, the progress on my um, February block for the journal, journal of Stitching. I have completed it. Apart, I think, from just a little bit of a um, little addition, I found some, um, I'll show you them, some little gold made up buttons from a costume. And they're quite, you can see them there, they're quite glitzy. And I thought one of those would look really nice on this piece. But first of all, I'll, I'll show you the piece. Um, I've um, stitched on all the pieces that I showed you in my last video of this uh, block. And um, I've worked into it. Um, I blanket stitched the, the flowers on um, in different corresponding colours. Did French knots around the outside. Um, I did a little bit of back stitch and um, French knots on the centre of the flower there. I have decided to write the month on each of my blocks. Um, I never mentioned on the January block, but there it is in the corner. And then I used the colourway of co uh, threads and cottons that I showed you to do lots of white, um, back stitch in the darker colours, which I always like the darker colours to bring out a bit of um, character in the piece. There's my um, B, uh, which is blended in really well. Um, and hopefully you can't see the fact that it's on a piece of cloth there. I've um, just done slow, um, tiny running stitches across and blended that in quite nicely. I did back stitch around the wings, but I haven't done work on the B itself. A little bit of work with the um, slow stitches around the the leaves and a few again bits of back stitch and and things on the the work there so i was quite pleased with that but i thought it probably needed a little bit of a pop uh of something bright i didn't want to add a button to this one i quite like this little remember i said about the um this is raw silk and i got a frayed bit which i think is really really effective there right so i've got these um nice goldy pieces of it's like braid that's been made into a button um, and just fixed together um, and I feel that that needs to go there I did wonder about putting it there but it's too close to the B and it doesn't actually balance the, the composition of the the piece out very well and it's a bit lost at the bottom I think gets lost on the pink there I feel that the gold shows off much nicer on the um, the aubergine flower so I'm going to stitch it on there um, while you're on oh just need to thread the cotton it's come and threaded these are quite tiny needles I'm using so just so if I can thread the needle Not my most favourite thing. If I'm using my sewing machine, it's all automatic, which is brilliant. Right, so let's stitch that on. It's going to. It's not a very big knot. I'll just not pull it through very tight, and that should be fine. There we go. And I'll just stitch that all around. I'm quite looking forward to the march, getting on with the, another block. But what I'm going to do is sort out my actual calico that I'm going to put it onto and um, the book. I wasn't sure when I first started the project whether I was going to use an old book, but I've actually, I actually think I will because it's something I do use um, old books and uh, repurpose them but I've not actually used one for sewing so I'm going to go ahead and use one for sewing now I haven't got one ready so it's something I'm going to search for in the next couple of days because I need to get the right size um, book and it needs to be quite tall I've got lots of smaller ones so that's something I'm going to actually do I'm going off to London um, and there'll be a couple of flea markets there yeah, we're going off to London. I'm going. There's a stitch um, 
festival on in Islington in London. So I'm going to go there on Friday and um, we're going to a show. We're only going for a couple of days and then um, we go to the museum and Dennis Soames museum as well. So I'm really looking forward to it. There, so I just finished that off at the back. I'll let you know what the stitch um, show is like. I mean, I, do, I have exhibited and I do do the knitting and stitching show, um, which is in was in Arrogate, which is completely at the other end of the country. Um, and I've not done one of the um, stitch shows. And it's really um, a bit of luck that um, I'm going to be able to go because we've got the the London trip booked and then I saw that this um, stitching show is on so really looking forward to it right so there we go that's the finished piece that you can see that um, again I quite like this piece I think that little bit of gold just adds a little bit of sparkle to to it and I'm looking forward to getting it all together in some sort of format and it will be a concertina format I've decided um, okay so thank you for watching I'll see you again soon